Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode 12 of Building Thede. This week I was waiting for some parts to come in. The Bricklink orders that I made haven't shipped yet, so I was actually tied down and wasn't able to make a ton of progress. But it's been a while since we've taken a look at what my collaboration partner Daniel has been up to, what he's been building. So this week we're going to look at a few things that I touched up on the mock, as well as the progress that he's been making. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I changed up was this section. I brought it down. If you guys remember in the last video, I kind of mentioned that I wanted to do this because originally this was actually up here and it kind of threw off the balance of the building. So I just went ahead and moved it down. So now we kind of have more of an equal distribution of detail. And then I'm gonna start having a vine kind of starting right here. And then it's gonna go up to the top of the building. And then I have some snot bricks over on this side that I'm gonna continue this vine up. But I'm actually really happy with the way this looks. It looks a lot better than how it was before. I think it's going to make this section here with the balcony and door stand out as more of a focus and then also kind of break up this whole down here middle boring section. So I'm really happy with the way that came out. And I'm waiting on parts to arrive so I decided to stop working on the buildings because once those arrive then I'll really be able to just go ahead and finish up this one and hopefully this one too. Really the only thing that I'm waiting for on this building are the 1x2 version of the cheese slope. So once I get those in, which is what I'm going to get in hopefully this week, the other store that I was going to order from actually closed their store until Monday. So until tomorrow, once you guys see this video, that store will still be closed. So those probably won't be really coming in until maybe the end of next week or even after that. So. The first store that I made an order from did have all of those 1x2 cheese slopes, so I'm hoping that those come in soon so I can go ahead and finish up this building, add in this bridge connecting the two, and then hopefully really just knock out the entire rest of this one. And I've got some ideas that I want to try out for the roof of this one. So that's everything that I did to the buildings. And then moving over to the left, Daniel suggested that we sink the round bricks into the floor a little bit so that it looks more accurate to the battlefront source material and just looking better generally. So what we ended up doing was using these arch bricks, which trace out the same angle and curve as those four x four round macaroni bricks. And then I went ahead and just set everything down so that the snot section right here is flush with the rest of the road. And then there are a couple sections like this one here and then this one way down here that are some brackets so you can reverse the studs so that when you get to the other end, you can do the same technique with those arches. But I realized that I need two more of these macaroni tiles so that I can finish this off here. And I also need to get these wedge plates in brown. I was originally planning on just doing this all green, but I don't think that this wedge plate exists in green. And Daniel and my friend Mason both said that we should do brown underneath it. So we're gonna roll with the brown right now and see how it looks. But basically the way this is built is I have this whole snot section that just sits in here. And as you can see, it's the arch pieces right here. And then there is the stud reversal, which is just some brackets and a two by three plate. And honestly, this doesn't even bother me. Normally having this half plate offset would bother me quite a bit, but because we're having the elevated floor tiles every once in a while, this actually kind of works to my advantage. And then going around to the other side, we have kind of the same thing. So this just goes ahead and sits in like that. And then the actual section itself is built all in one unit. So basically we got all these bricks tracing all the way around. And then on the bottom, I just put some bricks with the inverted tiles, as you can see, because when they meet up with plates like this, you get that little offset, which works really well. And then on the bottom, I just made some tracks for these to slot into. So once you line up these two base plates, you can just sit this in like so. And that just sits in there. And then you can take this whole section and kind of finagle it into position. And then once everything is together and connected, this will all line up flat and flush with the rest of the road. So I'm really happy with this. There's gonna be some things that I have to figure out once I get to this section. And obviously when I go to transport this mock, I'm going to have to take this whole thing out because it's bridging two base plates 
but I'm really happy with this. It worked out super well. It's just gonna make this a lot more interesting rather than just having this be the regular bricks that I had before. And then the only other thing that I did was I rerouted this wire to come out into the corner for better access. And then I'm going to have another one of these panels connecting onto this wire so that I can have all of the battery box and more lights and everything over in this corner because coming from this all the way into here, especially if I wanted to have this light pole coming all the way, as you can see, it's really struggling and it, that's not even where I want this to be. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and add in another one of these to give myself more room and space and that also makes it easier for me to access it. So honestly, this works out great for two different reasons. It's been a while since I've talked about Daniel's part in this collaboration, and we've had a lot of new viewers join us over the course of the series. So I'll give you guys just a quick little recap of his part. Basically, this mock is divided into two sections. The part I'm building is more heavily inspired by episode one with the AAT and the Nabu security forces and that kind of stuff. And what he is building is across the bridge into the Battlefront 2 section, which is a combination of a few different areas from the map. And they're going to be joined together at Brick Fair Virginia this year. So if you guys are going to that convention, then you guys will be able to see the full finished product. But with that out of the way, basically what we're looking at here, the first picture is a column design that Daniel came up with. And the main reason that he sent this picture is because the new style of arch pieces don't allow you to attach the one by one plates on the underside like you see in this picture, which is kind of frustrating because it looks so much better. But basically he has a nice column design here. That weird round piece at the very bottom is actually a wheel piece in light bluish gray, which is a kind of cool usage of pieces there. And then it's just some textured two by two round bricks. And then moving on to this next picture, you can kind of see the structure of this big round building that he's going to be constructing. This is actually taken from Battlefront 2. It's a big round building with a bunch of different arches and the outer ring and the inner ring is just obviously a regular round building with a bunch of windows and doorways and stuff like that. And then moving on, you can kind of see the weird angles and techniques and stuff that he's got going in here. And I can't really comment too much on this because I don't really know what is going on in his mind with all of these brackets and headlight bricks and then bricks just all arranged in different areas, but they all come together to make a beautiful looking building. As you can see, this is what it looks like with the lights off and the lights turned on inside it. And it really, really looks cool. I'm so excited to see this mock with all the lights shining through the windows and on the street lamps and all of that stuff. It's just gonna look so cool with all of those integrated lights. And then here you can kind of see what it looks like with the lights in the room turned on. So you can get a better view of just exactly what is going on in this building. And it just really, really looks nice. And then this was the last picture that he sent. This is what he has going on so far. So if you zoom in, you can kind of see what is going on with those windows. You got that technique with the one by one plates stuck in the underside of the arch piece. And then lining these sides are some headlight bricks with one by one tiles. So it just makes that cool texture going all the way around the window. And then just zooming out, you get that beautiful round building that just looks so cool. So I am super excited to see this thing in person and see it come together with the rest of his progress. But that is what we have to cover for this week's update. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 12 of Building Feed. This week, I ran into a few roadblocks with the store being closed that I was trying to order from and just the general lack of parts that I had. So I tried to make as much progress as I could, but there just wasn't that much that I could do. But next week, I'm going to try to almost finish off the floor section for the remaining base plate on the first half of the mock. And then hopefully I'll be able to get in those parts that I ordered and make some more progress. Hopefully, maybe even finish up the buildings. And if you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, you can get $10 off your first purchase at Light My Bricks if you click the link at the top right corner of the screen. But that is all that I had for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.